Peeps Kings AL Rebs and Grand for Yokes TV. Back with another one. So in this video, man, we're gonna be talking about no fat king mode. Now, some of you guys may have heard of um monk mode and this and that. I think one of the, the, the main things within this this no fat community, which I don't agree with, is a lot of you guys are doing like um you know semen retention with no goals applied. Listen, semen retention or no fat, whatever, ha has no meaning if it if you don't put application to it. You know what I'm saying? You always want to have a goal attached or goals attached to semen retention because that's just sexual energy. Like sexual energy, right? It's like a plug. You need an outlet for it to go into. Now, sexual energy, it travels within your body, you know what I'm saying, and it needs an outlet. That outlet can either be positive or it could be negative. It's negative is when you, you know what I mean, excessive masturbation, that's negative. Positive would be you turning that sexual energy into something that can add value to your life, right? I'm going to give you guys a story. Uh, if, if some of my subscribers may remember me telling a story how when I quit smoking, right? I'm going to give you guys a story that's attached to that, right? I quit smoking, like, in my early 20s, right? My early 20s. And um, I don't know if a lot of you guys remember, but, you know, the internet wasn't that great on phones. As a matter of fact, there was a point where the internet wasn't on the phones. And if it was, if you did have a browser, it wasn't that great. So I'm talking about, like, 2005, right? 2005. 2005 um, and earlier, you know what I mean? Men didn't have internet on their phones. What they did have, they had like porn collections and shit. Like they had like VCR, uh, VCR tapes, I mean VHS tapes. They had DVDs and shit, you know what I mean? And where you built up like porn collections, right? So I remember back then I had like a, a crazy porn collection. Not crazy, but you know, I had a collection. And so what I did was I challenged myself. And this was before I even knew what the fuck NoFap was, you know what I mean? I I think this is before anybody even coined the phrase. So around that time, I had wanted to quit smoking, right? But not only that, I wanted to challenge myself. So what I did was I uh, stopped smoking cigarettes, I stopped smoking weed, and I gathered up that, that collection, that porn collection that I had, put it all in a, like a black uh, trash bag, threw the shit in the garbage. You know what I mean? Just because I wanted to challenge myself. Not knowing what I was doing at the time, you know what I mean? I'm older now, so I realize it. Um, you basically challenging yourself. You not only, you know, challenging yourself, but you, you getting that, that monkey off your back or the, the demon off your back. You know what I mean? And like I said, if you guys watched my video the other day, I had posted a, um, a quote talking about, um, when you fight your demons, right? It will cause your angels to sing. That's basically what I did. Cause I challenged myself and I, I think around that time that was my longest streak if i'm not mistaken it was like four months but within that four months um i was young and i found out so much more like about myself you know what i mean like life just felt different um without those like without that monkey on my back you feel me and when you challenge yourself um for that long um there's going to be something else that's going to take that monkey that was on your back, there's going to be something else that's going to take its place, you know, and nine out of 10 times or 10 out of 10 times, it's going to be something that can add value to your life. You know, it might be your purpose. You never know. Like when you're so complacent in life and when you do the same thing over and over again and when it's repetitive and, you know, you, you become crazy, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you literally become crazy. That's why you always want to challenge yourself. You know what I mean? Get yourself out of the darkness. And when something else comes knocking on your door, you know, it may be your purpose. And that's what's going to add value to your life. You see what I'm saying? Um, Back then, when I was young, bro, like, I really didn't know what the hell I was doing. But I challenged myself and, you know, I'm, I'm able to deliver these stories to you, you know, on YouTube. And, you know, it, it feels good because I conquered that demon. You know what I mean? And now, like I said, with, with, with no fat. The more you practice it, the better you'll get. Now, I'm going to go back to what king mode is, right? I'm not saying you guys are going to just go out and go four, four months and doing it because that shit was hard. I'm not going to say going to say and lie to you and say it wasn't hard. But like I said, you have to find something. You have to use that sexual energy and apply it to a positive outlet.
So what um, king mode is, is basically like 30 days. 30 days, uh, no drinking, um, no smoking. Uh, you want to be uh, working out uh, four times a week. No women. Like, I'm talking about no women, dog. Don't even, like, don't even pay attention to women for a month. I challenge you. I challenge you. All that attention that you're giving these women everywhere you go, apply that to yourself. Apply it to your goals for 30 days. Like I said, no drinking, no smoking, no popping pills, whatever the fuck you do. No um, women attention. None of that shit. You know what I mean? Apply it to your goals. Apply it to, you know what I mean, what you want to do in life. And, you know what I mean, work on yourself. Because I guarantee you guys, if, if, if you just work on yourself, what, what's 30 days out of 365? You know what I mean? It's really not a lot. You know what I mean? That's why you want to be uh, challenging yourself for the better. All right? This King JL, we're going to be doing this King Mode thing. I'm on this King Mode shit, too. So don't even think for a second, I, I, like, I'm out here just talking shit. Like, the shit I'm saying, guys, like, I've done it. I do practice it. And I'm sp giving it to you from my point of view. Okay, this is King JL representing Ground for Yokes TV. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I right, peace.